Hello and welcome to the third ever episode of Kiri's Classics. In today's episode we're going to be installing some bucket seats. Phase 1, order and delivery. I was simply scrolling on Facebook when these seats appeared on it. After a little negotiation I was really pleased with the price so I got him the money and they were ready to be delivered. A few days later they, they arrived and this is how they looked. Not perfect, but I'm so stoked about this. This is gonna look awesome. Phase 2. Removing the seats. The seats have already been disinstalled in the latest episode. So if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's in the description. Phase 3, the install. So it was at this point I knew I pretty much screwed up. Uh, the rails weren't fittingly as, as, as expected so I had to come up with a plan. The holes already in the car are much narrower than the holes fitted to the seats. So I got my brain to work and thought out a little idea. So after I got the idea I was pretty sure of what I needed. I grabbed the 34 parts ship to the local store. It's a store that isn't too far and I know we'll definitely get everything there. As you can see, the area in which I live is pretty exciting to drive, even though these were only the main roads. After I came home, I couldn't wait to get these seeds installed, so I immediately took out the grinder, of course, after measuring twice to get the holes and the length of the rails perfect. So, the plan was pretty simple. Using a aluminium rail of 2mm thick, I could simply attach this rail to the holes in the car and then attach this rail to the holes fitted in the seats. To be honest, quite genius, if I may say it myself. The seats were installed directly after I fitted these rails. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of this. It's actually really simple. The four bolts go through the rail into the seats using a washer just to make sure. Phase 4 wash. As you can see the seats were pretty dirty. They have been ever since they arrived, but I waited until they got their place in the car to give them a wipe. This was done simply by some hot water and some soap. Afterwards I went over it with a dry towel just to make sure they were clean all the way. really happy with how they came out after the wash however i would like them to give them some more pop if you understand what i mean phase 5 leather treatment so i grabbed some leather treatment that has been on the shelf for ages and thought i would give it a go as you can see this helped out a lot so soon after finishing the first seat i did the second one also As you can see, these seats are amazing, I really love them. You sit up really low to the ground which gives a more sporty feeling and they look amazing as well. In the next video we're gonna be dropping the engine, so stay tuned for that. Feel free to subscribe, share and comment to this video if you liked it. I will see you guys on the next one. Remember above all, just go for it.